You can tolerate a lot of things, like hot weather or tough biscuits. But you need zero tolerance for pigweed and cotton. Not one plant, not one seed, because pigweed will beat you, even with 99% control. Let's run through the numbers. The average pigweed plant produces 300,000 seeds. If 95% die over winter, that leaves 15,000 seeds. Even if you get 99% control, you're left with 150 escapes. If one third of those are female, you have 50 reproducing plants. Times 300,000 seeds per plant equals 15 million seeds at the end of season one. Again, 99% control is not enough. So you get 7,500 escapes and 2,500 reproducing plants. Times 300,000 seeds per plant equals 750 million seeds at the end of season two. And that's how plain old Palmer pigweed beats you. Now the curveball, resistant pigweed. Don't worry, we've got your back. We don't allow weed resistance in our house and we've got the muscle to enforce it. In my part of the world, we put cotteran almost on every cotton acre, uh, and it needs to be there. So getting a cotteran in there uh, on the front end, and then diuron or direx in there, post direct underneath, is really vital to keeping these other herbicides still in play. We really don't have tools to control palmer amaranth after it emerges. So we have to put residual herbicides out before the palmer amaranth comes up, and we have to get them activated. We need the first herbicide activated, and before that herbicide becomes no longer effective, we need another residual herbicide out there and activated so we don't have a lapse in control. Protect your house with a strong portfolio of residual herbicides and season-long cotton control from Adama. Always read and follow label instructions.